Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. And we got a little bit of green coming in, not as much as we had earlier this morning after a big update yesterday. Dow at 56. NASDAQ, uh, the strongest, up 71. S&P up 11, kind of right there at that quarter of a percent. Morning, rookie trader. Morning, trader Jim. Yesterday was, uh, man, it turned out to be a really good day only on three trades. This wasn't a lot of opportunities, but um, a couple of continuation runners that really worked out. But uh, just seemed real tough to get in and find a good setup with, with volume because of a big pre-market move. So hopefully today we get a little bit better or, or more opportunities in terms of set up with uh, mighty nine year volume runners Netflix right after I got off pushed up for me hopefully for you as well if you're in it Got about 30 seconds here. I'll be looking at a reverse iron condor for zero DTE to put on as uh, S&P futures are right there at about a quarter percent. Gap up. Fireman Steve, good to have you. Good morning. Uh, just so you know, Fireman Steve, um, go to the day trading chat in the Discord. I know Steve's new. Well, somewhat new. Was a member before and uh, is back. So we welcome him back. But yeah, we'll be in the day trading chat channel. Good morning, Bumblebee. Bell is rung. There we go, Fireman Steve. Nice job. And then uh, one other, uh, Steve, one other uh, channel. There's the live chat. You, you get a lot of the zero DTE people that trade those that will be posting in there. Those are kind of the two, day trading chat and then zero DTE live chat are two of the main chat channels there where the deal with the uh, day trading strategies. Let's see, we've got Dow up one twenty two, Nasdaq up seventy one. S&P pushing up a little bit, up 14.
Fox pushing down now as well. Getting some green bars coming in and some reds. A little bit of two-way action here. Just got filled on my reverse iron condor that I entered. The zero DTE stuff. Again, still paper trading that, so. We get a second bar here. He just sent an alert for the double calendar exit that he put on yesterday. It turns out to be a good winner. That double calendar, if you get to trade alerts. Getting our second bar here, so we'll look for some... Uh, Increased volume, start off. So I even got a better fill than Steve did on that calendar. So looking for a volume bar bigger than the first and in the same direction.
Tesla getting a little bit of volume here. Keep an eye on it. About two minutes left. Roblox getting a big volume bar. Looks like it's going to get a, a volume runner to the upside. As long as that bar keeps pushing up. Pretty tight range in Roblox, though. Intel already has a big volume bar to the upside. So we'll have to see if we get a pullback in Intel. INTC. Tesla's got about 30 seconds to get there. Intel really pushing up, so no pullback yet in that. Roblox and Tesla are going to be really close. I would say that's probably a yes in Tesla. I've definitely played those as volume runners. So we'll see if it can get a little pullback here. Today we trade the two days to expiration option chain. So Tesla, I would trade the 240 calls. 240 calls. Try to get filled at four sixty-five. And Nvidia really pushing down.
What about now? Can you hear me now? Ah, so did you guys get in on the Tesla trade? For some reason, my Bluetooth headset, I had issues with it. I was talking to Steve on a Zoom call last night, and I had to shut my headset off, turn it back on to get it to reconnect. Ah, Tesla coming down now, darn it. So I'm in Tesla, a volume runner. I got in at 460 on the 240 calls, and I got out of half at 505. Boeing and Roblox now, now Roblox pulling back a little bit Netflix looks like it's poised to go higher above this piss staying above this pivot so if Tesla pushes much down below right here, I would bail on it. That's the exit for the volume runner. Man, I wish Tesla would be doing what Boeing's doing. Tesla, what are you doing? I'm just going to hold it here. Part of me wants to add back into Tesla, and then if it does push below, then cut it. So I'm going to add to Tesla on the 240 calls. Build at 415 to add to Tesla. So... My hope is that it just holds and then it starts to push back up. And you know, we're we're in a strong market, so that's why I added to it. And so I would get out of half at uh, let's go four seventy. about 460 that's my original entry was 460 build it 460 to close half which was my original entry man Boeing. Kind of want to get long Netflix here for continuation to the upside. So Netflix, I would trade the 460 calls. Trying to get filled at 480. Filled at 480. It's the 460 calls. So here's my plan. And so if Netflix pushes below this pivot, I'll just I'll just bail on it. It's pretty it's pretty early to be doing a continuation to the upside, but I'm doing it simply because. We got some strength in the market. It had a push up, a little bit of a pause. Yeah, I saw Roku. It's all over the place. Big red bar, big green bar. Real nice push up there, though. So what made me choose Netflix here is it's got this pivot, which is a key level. Okay. And it had a little bit of a pullback on a, after a push up. So I would I would close half of it at 5:30. Yeah, Nvidia, I'm not sure what's up with that. I saw AMD was the same way. This is this is bleeding lower. It's puzzling for a strong market, but yeah, AMD is the same way. What 
really no signal to get short on it, but we'll see if NVIDIA drags some other uh, stocks down with it. Yeah, I thought I was going to get filled in Netflix there. Looks like Ro Roku's going to get another big bar. I'm not sure which direction it's going to be, but you can see it's getting close to as big as the first already. Filled at 530. Get out of half my Netflix. Nice little push up there. Boeing pulling back. If we want to get long Boeing, I'm already long two. But, ah, man, it's a pretty good setup right there. Yeah, why not? Two of seven point five calls in Boeing. Let's see here. Trying to get filled here. Filled at three fifty. Two of seven point five calls filled at three fifty. Tesla, Ooh. yeah, Tesla's coming down right to where that's that exit point right there. So right there's the exit. So I'm hoping it bounces. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Nvidia might be pulling everything down here. Boeing has come down a little bit further than I wanted it to. So my hope is, is that Tesla bounces. He's coming down to yesterday's high. If it doesn't bounce there, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of it. I had a good ad and then I got filled in half, but now it's seems like it wants to flush. See how it touched yesterday's high? So my hope is it's touching the highs and then popping right back up. If it doesn't, it looks like it wants to continue lower. I'll cut it. Um, Boeing, I need to get a, in an order. So I close half my Boeing at 385. Netflix really hasn't gone anywhere. Yeah, Roku with another big green bar. Uh, B Boeing is the 207.5 calls, 207.5 calls. Well, 
considering getting out of Tesla. It's just not, it's still staying above yesterday's high, but. Need to see some. We've had we've had a nice push down with some of these stocks. We need to see a little bit of a bounce here. Futures kind of pushed up, pulled back. How's it going to push back up? Yes, I mentioned that about Roku had had another big volume bar, but I'm not gonna not gonna get in Roku. It's just. Had a big red bar, big green bar, another big green bar. It's kind of all over the place. Okay, Tesla, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Need Boeing to get back up through highs. See you later, Fireman Steve. Glad you could bounce in today. Netflix? Yeah, it's just... So I want to stay above that pivot. See what Costco did here, you know, push up and staying above the pivot. And then it looks like it might want to push up. It's kind of what I was looking for in uh, Netflix. Tesla trying to come back up. And Roku with another big bar. Sheesh. Need Boeing to push up here a little bit. So Tesla coming back.
Netflix, don't you go down below that pivot. Looks like it's going to. All right. So Netflix, after getting out of half, it wants to go below the pivot. Let's see if it's just dipping its toe down there or if it's doing it for real. All right, close my Netflix. Build it 390. So got out of half, but then it didn't pulled. Boeing is holding so far, giving a little three bar pullback. I like that because then it, you know, that's kind of what we're looking for for a continuation runner. It wouldn't surprise me if Netflix pops back up, but I was just following the rules. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, it, it's coming back down, so I don't know. You just always want to follow the rules. That's just the way it is. It's just sometimes it ends up being, a, more times than not, it ends up working for you if you just follow the rules. Uh, Target, I failed to mention Target, up 17% after uh, announcing earnings before the market opened. forgot about that. So getting some pretty muted price movement again now that after the initial push. <laughs> really haven't had a good mighty 90 in here. Airbnb kind of shaping up volume wise. Look at Square. Yeah, that's what I wanted Netflix to do, what Square is doing. Netflix didn't want to didn't want to play fair. So Tesla trying to push back up. It was a good ad in Tesla when it came down to yesterday's high. You know, I didn't I didn't chicken out. Because it barely went down below that price point of the second green bar. And I didn't chicken out and close it there. Tesla, I got an order to close another one at um, 510. Close a quarter. Boeing, yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get filled them half of Boeing there on that nice push up.
Meta had a little mighty 90. I'd like to see a little more volume pop there, but. Get a half my Boeing here, man. You can see when it's got a tight range, man, it's hard to get. It's hard to get profits. I need it to blow through that pivot just so it doesn't get pushed back down through the pivot. Build at 385. Boeing, it's close half. Looks like it's tried to get through that pivot there. I don't really see any much oppor many other opportunities again. Yeah, it's good out in Netflix. You can see why you follow rules. So Tesla, though, it's you know it's come up to yesterday's hot, or I'm sorry, it's come up to highs of day where it got rejected last time. So I'm hoping it doesn't get rejected here. I'm hoping it goes through highs of day. There you go, Boeing. Boeing is going. Yeah, I saw that meta. It kind of already popped up, though. Yeah, if it pushes down like one more time, I might consider that mighty 90 there. I'll close another Boeing at 420. Yeah, Airbnb, I saw that. But it it had already popped up like up to here. So, you know, if you're going to do that Airbnb, you want to get filled down here. That a kid Boeing. Add a kid Tesla. Filled at five forty to close another Tesla. Build at 420. Close another Boeing. Yeah, so Meta. Mighty 90 there. We'll look at Meta here. Three thirty two point five calls. Three thirty two point five calls. Fill it three eighty in meta. Yeah, Airbnb. Mighty 90 would have been sweet if you could have gotten in down there, but you would have had to probably be real quick on it. I would close half my meta at 420. Nice call out Bumblebee on meta. 
So I wanted to see if it could come back down to yesterday's low and then hopefully bounce from there. Oh, come on, Boeing. What are you doing? Tesla, what are you doing? Get back up to highs. Yeah. Build it 420 to close half my meta. So we're looking for two consecutive green bars in meta. Video trying to recover. So Tesla, see how Tesla got rejected once and now it's getting rejected again. I certainly don't want to see it go all the way back down. I would rather just book my profits and cut it if it's going to go all the way back down. So just things to look at, you know, use these key levels. It's like popped up. Got pushed down, pop back up, up, oh, getting pushed back down. I'm going to give it to the close of this bar and then see where we're at. You can see Netflix was definitely a good out when it went below that pivot. Man, Roku. Why can't one of my volume runners do that, right? And look at Meta coming down now. So still a bit of a, a little bit of odd price movement here for a strong market. Boeing looks like it wants to stay above that pivot. Roblox is another one that had an upside volume runner. Looks like it's going to get another big bar. Baidu popping up. Yeah, so with my meta, we're looking for two consecutive green bars. Got out of half on this nice push up. So we'll see if it can produce a nice push up on this second green bar so I can exit. Although, you know, in a strong market, sometimes I keep mighty 90s on. I keep a few contracts on if it's really pushing up here for us. I've got to order at 460 to close another one, so we'll see what it does here. I've got to uh, also have an order in at 460 to close another Boeing. So 
Probably coming up to this pivot. I'll have to watch that. Filled at 460. Close another Boeing. Got two Boeings left. There you go, Meta. That's certainly what I'm talking about there. Yeah, you know, Roku had yeah, hasn't had much red in it at all. You know, Meta could be setting up for a downside continuation runner. So I gotta be careful here and make sure if do I want to exit at all or do I I want to keep a couple contracts on? You know, the thing is it's like we have a strong market, right? And all the indices in the green, and you're long. So most of the time, I would say, yeah, I want to keep a couple on because it may just rebound all the way up. But it's just really struggling to get any traction to the upside. Roblox, just like uh, Roku, man, it's just on a mission. Neither one of them really gave. Uh, I guess he could have maybe got long Roblox on this fourth bar, which is a red one. Thing is, you know, it's just gotten so small. A lot of times you can see the range is really tight. It's a really tight range, so it's hard to make profits when it's such a tight range sometimes. <laughs> So you look at Amazon. Amazon came down, had a little little pop up, and now it's rolled back over. That's what I'm fearing with Meta. So we will see here. It may just depend on how it finishes here. It's got one minute left. <laughs> It can finish strong, it may continue upward. Square setting up to be upside continuation, push up, a little three bar pullback. I'm going to get out of another meta here. Filled at 445 to close another meta quarter. So that leaves me with three contracts left. So I am going to risk it. If you look at Amazon, it's pushing down the lows of day. I'm going to risk it and see if Meta can push back up. I'm going to leave these three on. I've got Tesla below Meta, so I can watch them both. I'm going to give it the first minute here, see what it does. Can Tesla break through highs? That is the question. If you would like to close out your meta, I don't blame you. It's got, it definitely has meta rules of two consecutive green bars. Just getting a little greedy today. This is a strong market. So I will exit if it pushes through this pivot. But as long as it stays above the pivot, I'm going to see if it can get some more run to the upside.
I've got an order in at 590 to get out of another Tesla. Man, Roku, what is going on? DKNG, man, it's it's been strong too. It's I I I, I do I bought some DKNG shocks uh, shocks uh, stocks shares when it was really low. I can't remember when I did it, but they were like ten or twelve dollars per share. Now it's up to like thirty seven. I was like sports betting, yeah, it's not going anywhere. Me personally, never been good at it. Okay, so Meta's holding above the pivot. And Airbnb pushing up. So far, so good on Meta. I'll get out of another meta at mm, 485. Almost 930. So don't think I'm going to get a, into any more trades. I'm just going to scale out of these here. Or find good exit points because I definitely have a another nice green day here. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of another meta here. Hopefully, it gets hit at 485. If it doesn't, I'm gonna build 485. So, say I was gonna 
just got two metas left. So a little risky, a little risky on that mighty 90 hold, but you can see why I do it sometimes. I do it when it's a strong market and I had gotten long after a big push down. Boeing pushing up to that pivot. Let's see if it can get through it. I got two Boeings left. I'm going to go ahead and get out of another... Gonna go ahead and get out of another. I don't know. It's right. It's kind of right where I got filled before Meta. I thought I could get out of a little bit more. See, here's where it's like, okay, you got a tight range. So I thought I'd be a little bit. I got out my last last one. I got out at 485, and it still pushed up a little bit just because it's such a tight range. It's not giving me much. Oh, yeah, E. Allison. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and close my meta. See how it's coming down now. I'm already living on bonus time here. Filled at 455. And I only had two contracts left, so I got a little bit out of it. Tesla, man. Oh, so Tesla has a mighty 90 short. I'm going to go ahead and get out of my Tesla. You guys see that? I would have gotten out of it if I had noticed that sooner. Build at 535. Get out of my Tesla. I have a feeling it's, you know, it's going to get another red bar. I only have two Boeings left. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and close it out as well. It's coming down a little bit. This might be where we start seeing the pullback. Build at 430. And I am out of everything. So, hey, uh, good day. Let's see. Let's take a look at the live stream calendar. And it looks like I leave tomorrow. My 13-year-old is a pretty damn good football player. He plays football this weekend in Knoxville, Tennessee in a big national tournament. So I will not be back until Tuesday the 21st. So... Looks like no live stream tomorrow, really the rest of the week in the morning. And then with uh, Steve has power hour for those of you that do power hour tomorrow. So I will see everybody back here on November 21st. Catch y'all later. Peace.